uh, today I want to do something for my college trick class and before we get started I just wanted to show you the my the textbook that I have been using for my pre-calculus my college pre-calculus and my college trick class guys this is the textbook that I have been using for a while uh, and in case you are you guys are using the same textbook I mean I do a lot of examples um, from this textbook um, almost all the time okay so I just wanted to share that with you guys and uh, without any further delays we're going to start with uh, the quadratic, sorry, the trig identities. I've been doing quadratic functions for so long, I still kind of think about quadratic functions all the time. But today uh, I want to do something for my trig class. And uh, here I'm uh, going to talk about some trig identities. I have already written out some of the basic trig identities and some of these, like the first three are also called as Pythagorean identities. These are pretty like simple and uh, basic identities. And then uh, I have here, what is the tangent in terms of sine and cosine? and cotangent in terms of cosine and sine. Guys, um, I mean, I'm not saying that you have to really f uh, remember all these formulas. There's a formula sheet. You can probably get it like online. I usually have these, I usually get these formula sheets from online. Well, I have been doing this for a while, so I remember a lot of these formulas. I mean, I cannot say that I remember all of them, but I remember a lot of these formulas, but it is totally fine that if you cannot remember all of these formulas, because uh, this trick section, which Cover which talks about uh, these trig identities, there's so many of them. So uh, it takes some time for you guys, it's gonna take some time for you guys to actually remember these. Meanwhile, you can use a formula sheet, uh, but uh, so on your formula sheet, you will have all these uh, trig identities and starting with the basics and then it starts to get into more advanced ones. So guys, uh, my first few videos is gonna be about uh, verifying and simplifying these simple trig identities. Uh, simple expressions and then uh, from there we'll talk about the other more advanced trig identities as well and we'll use them to simplify or prove things okay so here let us see uh, what examples I have uh, probably I'm going to do probably two or three in each video so let's start with the first one so the first example I have uh, simplify example one I have uh, I have a tangent of x and in the parentheses I have cosine x minus cosecant x okay guys i am myself not a big fan of like just simplifying trig functions usually i like to prove identities where there is something on the left hand side and there's something other on the right hand side and you want to like prove that the left hand side equals to the right hand side because that gives me an idea what i'm trying to what i'm trying to make the one side look like but here uh, with simplifying you don't have any right hand side so you try to uh, simplify basically the expression as much as uh, one you can okay uh, based on the trig identities so far we're going to restrict ourselves to uh, probably these and maybe one or two more just the basic ones okay so if i have to simplify something like this uh, obviously the very first thing that uh, i would like to do is uh, distribute right okay it's like guys there's one thing i want to tell you before we actually even start doing this you have to think about these as simplifying algebraic expressions, but instead of just working with algebraic expressions, now you are working with the trig functions, but the process, the method, the concept does not change, okay? So guys, if you are like uh, intimidated by these fancy trig functions, please don't stress too much about them. They are a different type of a function, but the, the mathematics about like the, the simplification, all the other mathematical rules are, are going to be similar to what you have been using for algebraic expressions so most of the times you have to just use the algebraic skills and algebraic simplification techniques to simplify trig functions as well okay so keep that in mind don't let these trig functions intimidate you or stress you okay so the first thing first is we want to distribute as we would do with the, with any uh, simplifying any algebraic expression okay so when i distribute this is how it's going to look like i have tangent x times cosine x okay I cannot do anything really like with this right now so I just have to just write them next to each other and what is my next term my next term is going to be tangent x times cosecant x correct so from here um, I'll look at this expression right here and I will ask myself is, is there anything more I can do with this and then I look at the formula sheet in this case I have these things written out here but in your case, you may just want to look at the formula sheet if you don't remember all these different uh, formulas or different identities, okay? So I see that the tangent can be written in terms of sine and cosine, and we want to like, we want to write most of these things in terms of sine and cosine if it is possible, okay? 
so we can write tangent as sine x over cosine x and then I still have times the cosine x okay there's there's an invisible times here so I don't have to write it all the time then minus same thing here with tangent of x tangent of x is sine x over cosine x right and then times cosecant x guys I did not write the formula for the cosecant x but uh, I expect you guys to know that the cosecant x is the reciprocal of the sine x so that means the cosecant x would be uh, 1 over sine x okay in your formula sheet that you can get from online or in your textbooks you should already have all those things okay so guys it's more about just like keeping your eyes open and uh, look at the formulas carefully and use them wherever like when when needed so here I have this expression and now let us see how I can if I can simplify this well it seems like we can simplify this expression because there's a cosine in the denominator and cosine in the numerator so it's like there's an invisible one here so what will happen to these two they will just just cross out it's like cosine divided by cosine a quantity divided by itself it just crosses out you just get a one so there's no need for me to write that one because sine x times one is just simply sine x right and then minus here you, I see the same thing I have a sine x upstairs and sine x downstairs so it's same as like having x upstairs and x downstairs what happens you just cross out you get just a one right so sine x and sine x crosses out you're left with one it's one over cosine x that is the best we can do for simplifying this expression okay so it's not too difficult you just have to kind of uh, use some ad identities that are already provided to you in a formula sheet or that is something that you already remember and use those identities it could be one two three or more than three identities to simplify any expression okay so guys that is the example one and then in the uh, next video I'm going to try to do probably uh, one more uh, I have chosen about seven examples in this section which involves these basic uh, trig identities and then uh, once we once we do these seven examples then we will go into the sum and difference and all those other types of identities okay so guys uh, just uh, wait for my next video and I'll be doing a lot more of these types okay till then take care